Alrighty, so we're getting set up here at the race village for round three of the Chain Reaction Cycle WA Gravity Enduro, which is also an Enduro World Series qualifier. So we're set to have a big weekend, about 360 riders coming down. I'm um, about to head up to the hill and put some of the start and finish posts out. Uh, so we're ready nice and early on Friday afternoon, ready for the event. Uh, we've got this really cool pinup board that we've uh, created over the break and it's got uh, the course map here and we've also got some more A4s that will be readily available here. We've got our sort of Hall of Fame, our elite champions for the series and we've got all our medals up here as well which will be soon put up. Uh, but now we're just going to head to the top of the hill and uh, get set up. we got the Colorado now, the Navara. The Navara wasn't cutting it unfortunately but uh, I think this is going to be a great workhorse for all our events going forward. Uh, it's a cracking day today, uh, really really great conditions. Guys are out there having a bit of a swim around and uh, maybe yours truly will get in there for a little dip later on. But uh, the race village is all getting set up. We'll have a few more guys here, our major sponsors and uh, bronze sponsors as well, getting set up uh, on this side as well. We really like to frame it all off so it looks really good for the event and uh, uh, an attractive sort of uh, race village for everyone down here as well that they can enjoy too. So let's get up to the top of the hill. So as usual I always forget something and I've just put in the bottom three finish stages and forgot to get the red bunting. So I'm going to have to go back there later on and re-bunt the bottom of that. And this is the bottom of Bryman's Blues and Devon made the excellent suggestion of just bringing the finish up here a little bit because it gets a little bit weird down the bottom there with that scoop firm. And we certainly don't want to uh, have any riders pushing on up to accidentally tagging as well. So we've always got to make sure that we're well clear of everything else that's going on. Ew! Stuff. So I might just put it, might just put it around here somewhere. That was perfect. The kid's gonna put on a show for me here. Yeah! <laughs> Sam Hill for designing this one because it is an absolute hoot. Not only coming down, but trying to get up there and put the finish <laughs> peeking in too. So thanks, Sam. You're certainly giving us a little good challenge. And then that's also also part of the fun, probably because I'm trying to carry too much and record at the same time. So I'll just turn this off for a moment. Now I'm sure you can't get the severity of the grade of this thing but uh, if I look out that way this stick is well those trees are straight up you can see sort of the angle that we're working with here so I think this is far enough away from the road to make sure we aren't getting any on tagging as they come flying as they come down the bottom there so I'll put the finish in I think we had it here last year actually there. Yeah, we'll put in. I always like putting the these are the beacon poles, what our 
big beacon sort of gets mounted to. I always like trying to put them right next to a tree or behind the tree, give it a little bit of protection. I think that should be the spot. Guaranteed a good read. Uh, there she goes. Gone all the way down here. It's gone past the car. So, uh, Nicer. And the beacon's on the outside of the track there, so it be nice and protected as well. Session's gonna do anything too dramatic. This looks as good a spot as any. We've got some cool signage here, linger longest put up. And what I'll do there's a few line options coming in through here. So I think I might just stick the up here. No, I won't put it there. There's already too much signage. Get a little bit confusing. Let's go back a little bit more. So we've got a couple of different lines here that can actually go out wide or stay high. So this is Sam Hill special rake and ride. the earballs all right so this is a pretty gnarly bit of track some serious off camber rocky roots and then you get down here and you can choose a few more different lines again you can sort of stay high up here um, somehow and then you can actually ride out nice and wide here and then come out nice and wide it's a bit flatter a bit easier but obviously a bit wider so a bit slower for the b-line or well, the a-line guys they can sort of come down the guts here or even cut right on the inside of this bunting here of this tree and try and cut the inside of it and then shoot down here for the finish for stage six, which is rake and ride. I'm gonna fetch my blue tape that just came down here a million miles an hour. Well, I have no idea where it is. Uh, I just put in this last one. Uh, last 
one, the last of the finishes. I think that might do it for today on Friday. Um, just getting a little bit late now and I just want to get back to Race Village and get a few of those tents just knocked in a little bit and just get myself set up a little bit as well. Just want to spend a little bit of time on the timing system, get all our categories and all those last minute entries in to the timing system. So then come tomorrow, we have a few riders coming through wanting to check things. We've got confirmation of who's paid what and who's ready to go. Some guys are well and truly set up with all the gear. Got some primo camping spots as well. They've come in nice and early and set up. There's a horse float there. Don't know how that's going to work, but I'm not sure if there's horses in it. Let's go check later. But uh, the camping looks awesome. I'll get a little bit of drone footage in a second as well. We have a flyover. Got to get a bit better at this uh, documenting, but Frank and Brett were just here and gave me a great hand. Just been re-gluing some of these sensors on here because they are a little bit bashed up in travel. So I've got some nice little stickers on just to let people know what they're all about. So these are our uh, top, uh, gates that indicate when a rider has left. So they were okay in Margarita, but they weren't great um, to do with just the sensor and how it's picking up. So this is going to be one last little test for them and if, um, if they're not working as best as I would like, then I'm going to try and do, I'll do a different sensor, um, like a breaker beam sort of sensor rather than these sonar sensors. I just don't think they're fast enough to pick up the riders traveling through, even though they are going quite slow. Um, I think the sensors work quite well if you're approaching it, like front on, but when you're going past it, I don't think they're really quite suitable for what we're trying to do. So you leave them there, but got all our race plates ready to go. Got a whole ton of blank ones because people don't take them off their bikes and they end up on the side of the freeway and things. We've got our wristbands all numbered and ready to go. Got our uh, Whippets laptop uh, all charging and uh, getting ready there as well and we've got our main PC as well for the main field so got all our timing ready got all our timing beacons and things up here so we'll set the times on them a bit soon tomorrow being Saturday and uh, we're looking all pretty sweet at the moment which is surprising but uh, it's very good to be uh, feeling quite ready so uh, we've got about 370 registrations so um, very exciting certainly a sellout over here at um, Ningalonga one of the biggest rounds I think we've had here which is awesome so very exciting and uh, yeah I think tomorrow is going to be a good day of practice and shuttles and finish off a th few things up on the course a bit of bunting and bits and pieces but uh, apart from that looking forward to a great day out didn't have a too bad a sleep last night, getting a little bit there, but it was still pretty fresh. So this is the morning on Saturday. Looking real good. Looks like another ripper day. Always looks nice waking up and seeing all the steam rising off the lake. You're the one I always likes fueling other people. Now it's your turn. Yeah. <laughs> At least I got the wake hat on. Yeah, that's the way. <laughs> Frank and Brett just lending a hand, help me finish these off. Uh, I will just go down here, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we can just come over to this this post here. If oh, you wanna, yeah. yep. Yeah, it's just a couple of, that's fine. So I've just bashed in a few of these start posts now. Frank and Brett giving us a hand, thanks gents. And uh, so what we do is have that stop sign that you must stop to, you must stop at. And then we have our timing post 
just a few meters down the track because uh, it's got a one and a half meter reed range so we just want to make sure that it's not interfering or getting crossed over with anyone else on any other stage So come back down the hill now, just got one last finish post to put out and then we're all pretty well set timing wise. We'll of course do another timing check tonight of the whole system, make sure it's running smoothly. Yeah, we'll chuck it back in there, yeah, yep. Uh, I'm just going to go up to the top now and put out a sign. Yeah. Do you want to chuck your bike on? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll chuck the bike on and then we can shoot up there. Where's the other boys? In the queue. Oh, okay. Sweet. Well, let's go. Uh -huh. There is no queue. You're, you're, oh, you're going to have some lunch. We already had lunch. Did you inhale it? It's only a sausage roll. Okay. Well, do you want to jump, chuck your bike yeah. on? We'll go sort that out now. A few more chores. A few more chores. Back at the top of the hill. It's looking good up here. Just walking to get some primo footage for Chain Reaction Cycles. We've got their Instagram page this weekend, so I'm really keen to get some cool footage for them, get some jumps or some live action. Uh, just come to the top of the trail head here and hopefully I can have some riders. I can hear the shuttle bus coming up now, so fingers crossed we get a whole heap of riders coming through here. Yeah, you can do that. You can do it. You're the next Australian Idol. All right, we're going to start again. Number seven. Number seven is 113, beacon control, set time. Now, everyone's chilling around the fire. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the fun job. Up before clearing all the CX. Making sure they're all ready to go. Is on your right wrist. Thank you. 
place for the Mile Under 15s. Got all our female Under 17s. Please put your hands together for the Woo! female Under 17. Sport 19 to 39. Woo! That's it. Okay, the Thunder 19s. A female elite. Three seconds, one minute sixteen clear. Sam Hill. However, Sam has unfortunately had to head off. He has to uh, get ready for the next Enduro World Series qualifier. So he let me know that he would love to see Boxer come up on stage for first place. And uh, so for a round, so Boxer is the winner for the men elite. Oh, thank you. What a ride. Good stuff. Please put your hands together for the men elites. Woo! Right on for Boxer for blasting down those trails in 20 minutes and 33 seconds. Take another one. Home time now. All locked and loaded. Just leaving. Linger longer. Bar park. Had a few guys helping me out. As usual, the usual legends. And uh, geez, people get out of here pretty quickly. It's all looking a bit barren at the moment. Uh, it's 3.30, so probably probably, <laughs> probably one of our quickest pack-ups. So I'm pretty pumped with that. And um, yeah, it was a great weekend, real good weekend. Shuttle's going, it all went really smoothly. We had uh, quite a good queue in the morning uh, getting their registrations and things, which you know, it happens, unfortunately. We just crack through them as quickly as we can. And uh, it is what it is. But um, oh, he's going to let me through. No, he's not. <laughs> this is the man here, Devin himself. See you, buddy. <laughs> See you, mate. Thanks All again. Right, mate. Yeah, no, it was really good. Right, great great weekend. See? Awesome. Yep, had the family, everyone. Tell me yeah. how going. <laughs> yeah, no, it was a great weekend. So, yeah, I'm just doing my sign out. And so. Woo! <laughs> That was great, mate. Boxes, please, and yeah, we're all very happy. So, congratulations as well, mate. Thanks again for all your help. Um, hero! <laughs> See you guys. Champions! Alright, I'm gonna put the phone down because I'm on the road. See you guys very soon. <laughs>